All right, as we head into the second weekend of dry January, we want to share with you some delicious non-alcoholic cocktails that you can easily make at home. And who better to do that and help us out with that than award-winning and champion mixologist, LP O'Brien. She's the founder of LP Drinks and champion of Netflix's Drink Masters. So good to have you. Thank you for having me. And local, me. so yes. we'd love that you live here. Um, real quick, Drink Masters. Yeah. How much fun was that? That's amazing. It's a real experience. Really grateful. Let, you know, Netflix lending me that platform and um, yeah, here to make some magic happen moving forward. How has that kind of propelled your career, your life, yeah, everything? Yeah, there's definitely been amplification and um, yeah, it's been really amazing to work with other creatives and other mixologists to really, you know, heighten their messages and provide them with a platform to continue on the paths that they're accomplishing. That's so amazing. Yeah. And when um, Laura Silverman from Booze Free in DC yes. told me about you and, and you're a mixologist, but you kind of specialize in low proof or no proof yeah, cocktails? Exactly, yeah. So my company LP Drinks focuses on, um, you know, f it experiences and really mm -hmm. with nautical beverages, the experience, the education that we can really provide without, you know, the buzz occasionally. Right. So we're um, excited to be here. And uh, yeah, we have two cocktails to make today. Yes, let's get to that. What's the first amazing. one? Amazing. So, we'll start with the lemon and tonic which is really supposed to embody a highball um, okay. and so I have a couple of ingredients here that you know you can easily find in your pantry mustard seed coriander seed uh, ground ginger and then what I've done is placed them in simple syrup uh, you can make your simple syrup at home it's just water and sugar if you want it to be richer you put two parts sugar to water which is what I've done okay so I've added all those ingredients with a lemon peel let it sit for a couple of minutes and then what I'm gonna do is actually take um, this and then pour about an ounce into my highball glass. I'm going to add a non-alcoholic modifier if I'd like. I have Wolderton here. You can find it at most of your liquor stores. And this just adds a bit of complexity to okay. my drink. Um, a little bit of citrus as well as um, some earthy herbaceous flavors. Is that flavors. kind of the alcohol substitute yeah. that's replacing the alcohol? Okay. Exactly. And what we're doing here is adding additional complexity with flavor. That rich syrup is going to provide texture mm. as well as this uh, yuzu tonic, which I'm really excited to use. And I'll top off my drink. You want to make sure because there is a syrup in here that we are stirring it just so that first sip does uh, have, you know, the flavors yes. kind of blended together beautifully. And then, you know, in order to make this cocktail really look as beautiful as it's going to taste, we're going to garnish it with a manicured lemon peel. I like to use those scissors that we had as kids that have oh, this. Oh, yes. Yeah. The cutting photos for your scrapbook. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and some mint sprigs. So we'll just hit that against the glass. It opens up those aromatics really nicely. And it still looks beautiful, right? It's not alcoholic, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It tastes delicious. All right. Well, so I try you. this. What yeah. else? Do this is why she's the champ, everybody. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to make an espresso martini variation and that's a pretty hot drink right now and Ooh, what I wanted delicious. to yeah focus on here is again manipulating um, texture and flavor we can make delicious drinks so what we're gonna do is start off by adding coconut milk that adds a really beautiful texture to our cocktail but a little bit of flavor right I do a half ounce of that next ingredient I'm gonna add is going to be espresso so I brew this fresh um. and the fresh espresso is what helps you get that foam I'm putting an ounce and a half of that and then what I've done is I took some uh, chocolate and orange tea. Um, teas are really great non-alcohol cocktails. They provide you with similar flavors you would get with alcohol okay. texture as well. Over steep that, you get those tannins. Oh, um, yeah. So kind of, like what kind of tea? Just kind of yeah. So orange chocolate tea. Oh, orange so, yeah. chocolate. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then you add sugar to that and make a syrup. So I've added that to my glass. I'll add my sugar. Uh, or sugar. I'll add my <laughs> ice. Right. Um, along with a little bit of saline, which kind of seasons your cocktail the same way you would a dish. Interesting. With, yeah, four parts uh, water, one part uh, salt. And then I add that to my shaker. So with this, you're gonna wanna shake it nice and hard. The idea here is we want that foam on top of our dough. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a science project. It, yeah, it's, it's like it, a little science, yeah. physics, chemistry project as you're just trying to kind of figure it out. Absolutely. And then what we do is we just strain that. It's just like it. Yeah. I mean, espresso martini has espresso, so it's, <laughs> you're getting that at least, exactly. right? Exactly. And again, we really want to, you know, emulate all of those components that we would get. So you're garnished with your three 
beans, and then here I have essential orange oils, um, just to kind of <laughs> accentuate the flavors that you would get um, if you were expressing so like orange peel over the glass, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so there's our cocktail. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. I have to try this. Yeah, I'll, I'll cheers you. Cheers, and then I'll have you try and this And then one. I'll try it as well. <laughs> So LP Drinks is a product company, or what did you? Yeah. What has it grown into? So LP Drinks has expanded, obviously, since uh, Drink Masters, which is lovely. But we mm. get to work with so many amazing creatives. Uh, we do event production, um, so that's you know an event in your home, a wedding, a birthday party. We focus a lot on education, providing these amazing experiences, um, and we have a bunch of programs that we're about to launch, which I'm oh. quite excited about as well. So uh, you yeah. are amazing. Congrats thank on Drink Masters, you. but also thank you for helping us. Uh, really enjoy this dry January and kind of learn more and have some fun. LP, thank, thank you, you so much.